By March 1942, the U.S. was fully engaged in World War II on both fronts. The Americans declared war on Japan for that sucker punch at Pearl Harbor, which prompted German dictator Adolf Hitler to declare war on the Americans. Fun fact, the United States is the only country he actually declared war on. Kind of a dick move. In the early days of the war, no one really knew who'd win. Britain was no longer alone in Europe, but the Nazis were doing really well against the Soviet Union, and Japan seemed to be steamrolling the Pacific. So when Life Magazine published a series of potential scenarios where the Nazis invaded the US, it made people more than a little nervous. I'm trying to imagine what the writing room is like. Guys, I got it. Let's write a doomsday piece where our enemies flank our borders, kill us all, and I don't know, take over the planet. You don't think that will panic people at a time when the public's morale is more important than ever? So here's what these asshats came up with. They painted an Atlantic coast full of Nazi bombers with a range of more than 11,000 miles, and they're doing hit and run attacks all over the eastern seaboard, with the Nazi Navy in full force behind them doing their own hit and run attacks, and they land a force up and down the east coast. On the west coast, the Nazis team up with the Japanese Navy, spank the US Navy, who are still reeling from Pearl Harbor, and land three forces with feints towards Seattle and Los Angeles, with the main force landing in San Francisco. <laughs> Meanwhile, a fifth column of German-American Nazis forms in the Midwest and pushes the Americans from the inside out, and suddenly the Americans are totally surrounded. Fun. Um, here's a scenario for you, Life Magazine. The Nazis get their asses handed to them in less than four years, and the 101st Airborne drinks all of Hitler's wine. Life Magazine stops scaring everyone. Like, comment, share this video, make sure you subscribe. What's Life Magazine doing these days? Nothing? Oh, like the Nazis.